Hey guys, what's happening? This is Forgo Nation, and today we're going to take Tier 2 Wolverine against Master Mold. And I think it's only fitting to have one of the major X-Men taking on old boy. My Wolverine has almost 23,000 physical attack. He has max attack speed, 66 crit rate, 187 critical damage, max ignore defense, and max skill cooldown. Not bad looking stats, not the best, but not too bad. I have old boy ready for Tier 3. All of his gears are at 25, and... I'm praying this guy gets a uniform in this next update, but I wouldn't hold my breath. We'll see. I have no Urus, guys, so it's, he's not going to be near as strong as what he could be. And all of his skills are six. And with this uni, you got this third skill here. And similar to Bishop and Silver Surfer, uh, he has uh, increased damage by a certain amount of percent, you know, 100% in Wolverine's case. And it's for two attacks. So if you get the proc on the. If you hit the three. Well, you can still get the proc on the 5 and get that 100% damage proc with your proc on your obelisk at the same time because it's for two attacks. It's not like Silver Surfer was just for one attack. So that's pretty cool. So if you have a 200% damage proc, you're going to be able to add another 100% to it if the proc on your obelisk doesn't go off on your third skill. If your proc on your obelisk goes off on your third skill, well, you just lost that damage proc and yeah, that really sucks. The 5 is still his main damage dealing skill. That's the skill you want to put the damage proc on, guys. And this 4 is actually pretty cool because the Signar dodge rate actually stacks, which is insane, guys. You don't even need a, any ignored dodge when you're taking using this guy against Corvus with this uniform. It's pretty awesome. And he has a Stay 6 Power of Angry Hawk set by Tier 3. Am I willfully awaken this? I love Wolverine, guys. This is one of my top fives. I mean, he's... Man, I love Wolverine. And I'm, I'm still contemplating Tier 3-ing him. And I, like I said before with the Uni, I hope he gets a uniform. Because if he does, that will guarantee it. But if he doesn't, that won't. Now, since the little thing we got in the, the update about Cyclops, I don't know. We'll see. Now, I don't have a very good Obelisk on him. He has a crit rate 24% almost 25% with 140% damage proc so a weak obelisk nothing major guys so no urus 140% damage proc and he has a heroic uni I don't even have this thing in mythic so I still need to put a lot of love into old boy but something about wolverine that's amazing is his survivability guys is because of that heal that he has oh my god this dude can take a licking and keep on ticking so guys, let's take him into GBR, and let's rock and roll. Okay guys, so we're going to be using She-Hulk's leadership, that 60% damage dealt super villains. We're going to use Shori for that 45% damage dealt super villains, and that 35% decreased damage received from super villains. We're going to make old Wolvie a lot tankier. And we're not going to use any debuff, guys, because Wolvie can take a licking and keep on ticking, like I said. We take a look at the teams we got ro rolling with here. We got Low for Tank, one of my buddies, bringing the old fire team. Pretty cool. And we got my buddy 007 706 And interesting, he's bringing in Tier 3 Thanos, but he's using Coulson. I don't know why he's using Coulson. Unless he's got a rage on uh, Thanos and he wants to get that guaranteed critical rate from Coulson. The 45% damage from Delta from Coulson won't apply to Thanos because Thanos is a villain. Coulson's Passive only applies to heroes. But it is what it is, guys. I mean, hell, I've made those mistakes before. Not a big deal. And he might be just trying to get the crit rate. I have no idea. So let's get it going here. So I just try to get that counter, guys. And then I try to hit the 5 and get the damage proc on the 5. And that's pretty much it. And then I just 3, 5, 4, 2, 1. Pretty simple. Now there, the damage proc didn't even go off. So I'm going to try to wait around until the 5 gets all cooldown. I got mind control. Crap. So I'm going to switch my character so I don't kill my teammates. Uh, that's the one thing about having a debuff, guys. You know, you don't have to worry about getting mind controlled so much. Because I don't like killing my teammates. I'm not into that. Although I guess sometimes teammates don't care. If you got an OP team, they don't care if they die because you can carry them and they'll still get their rewards. But I don't like killing my teammates. There's something about that. There the proc landed on the 5 beautifully. There we go. And sometimes that three, the thing about it that kind of sucks is it does so many hits. If you get the counter, he'll do a lot of slashes and he does a lot of hits. And that will trigger that proc. But if you time it right and you time it perfectly, oh, sorry, see you go, buddy. But if you time it right and perfectly, then 
you can land your damage proc on the five. You'll get that 100% damage proc from the third skill, and you'll get the damage proc on the five, and they'll add together, which is pretty awesome, guys. Makes them a whole lot stronger. There, we just hanged in there when we got mind controlled. Ah, uh, no proc again. See, sometimes that happens, man. That five, I, I don't know. I wish it did more da more hits, so it trigger have a higher chance of damage hit. Uh, land in that damage proc. And there again, we hit the five and no damage proc. So this is something else to keep in consideration when you're watching this, guys. Is that you know I don't have the, a good build, um, and the proc isn't even going off like it should. Now there, the proc came toward the end of the skill. I mean that's just the way it is. Sometimes procs. You know, come when you want them to come, and sometimes they don't. There I got the counter. I waited for Master Mold to do a little stomp, and I got that counter. And that's what you want to do with Wolverine. If you got this uniform, wait for Master Mold to do that stomp and try to get the counter. There I missed it. God dang it, which really sucks. But I always try to get the counter, you know. It, it is a bit of a challenge. Oh, that little punk freaking stomped on the other side. He got scared of Wolverine. And guys, man, Wolby can take a punch, man. Freaking dude gets freaking hit left and right and just keeps on going. Just imagine, you know, if this guy was tier 3, he would be barreling through this. And look, I got frozen. Now I'm getting caught in the freaking purple. Now we got mind controlled. Lost a lot of life. And boo doo 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 We're going to heal up. And I'm not going to do any attacks so I don't kill my teammate. We're going to wait a little bit. There we go. Now the mind control is gone. And when you see that purple around the screen, you know you're being mind controlled, guys. If you don't want to switch your character, just run away, get away from Master Mode so he can't do any damage to you. And just wait it out a little bit. And that way you don't kill your teammates. Come on now, get him. Let's get that counter. Come on, come on. Ah, I missed. Oh, I got it, I got it. Sweet, 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 I got it. Freaking proc came at the end of the five, but I still got that proc on that three. Hell yeah. Oh, crap. Watch out, watch out. Alright, now if you really want to get ballsy, guys, you can stand there where uh, Master Mode lands and try to hit your three, but man, I don't really... I would advise doing that. You could die doing that. You could get one-shotted. There we switch because we got mind control, and I don't... Again, guys, I don't like killing my teammates. Come on now. And if you got three teams coming in here... And everybody knows to switch their characters when they get mind controlled. If you're not running with a debuff and you switch your characters, you don't have to worry about killing your teammates and everybody can do damage together and you can have a nice team effort of getting it done. And there I just got freaking frozen. And now I'm in the purple. Taking a lot of heat, guys. Taking a lot of heat. Whoa! That heal just saved us, guys. Boom! <laughs> I switched right there. I got a little worried. I got a little worried. I, I didn't know if old Wolvie was going to take that because he was pretty low on life. And yee, Master Mode, he has a hell of a right hook, man. Or a right slam down punch, I guess, if you want to call it that. Yeah, I'd be careful there. But Wolverine does good damage. I'm telling you guys, if I had him built up, he'd be freaking, he'd destroy this thing. He would. He would mutilate it. Even if I just had a nice 200% damage proc, a regular obelisk, and had Urus on him. Really, them freaking Urus make a huge difference. I'm telling you. But it is always nice to see what a character can do with a bear, you know, with not such a good build. Sometimes when we have characters and we use these really awesome builds, it can be a little misleading. So I always want to try to... Well, not always, but I want to try to show you guys some... You know, some runs with characters that just don't have very good builds. And Wolverine's a great character to do this with because he is so tanky. Because he can take a beating. You know, you can bring a nice free-to-play team. You don't need to have Wasp or anything. And get it done. Even in Tier 2, guys. Even in Tier 2. I mean, you bring in a couple Wolverines in here that aren't well built. They can get it done. You know, give them this same team. They'll get it done for sure. And if you want to use Coulson, that's fine. You know, you're just not going to get his guaranteed critical rate, but you'll get the 45% damage on Super Villains. At least with Wolverine. Oh, yeah. So the damage isn't spectacular, but like I said, guys, I wouldn't expect a really awesome damage with this build. He is getting it done, and in my opinion, that's all that matters. And it's just Wolverine and Thanos now getting it done.
and we just got frozen again. Crap. Oh, crap. He's, oh, he's shooting up the purple. Oh, crap. Come on, get out of there, get out of there, get out of there. Go crap, 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 crap. Come on, come on, come on, come on. This is an eternity, guys. This is an eternity. Wolverine was taking a hell of a beating. Man, that dude can take it. Jesus. Now, see, I get excited sometimes, guys, when I play with old Wolby. Because I love the character. And when I see him take it like that, when I see him take so much damage and just keep healing and keep coming back, I'm just like, yeah. That's reminiscent of Wolverine. You know, he just doesn't quit. He doesn't stop. There, I got freaking feared. God dang it. See, I'm getting debuffed left and right, guys. But yet, we can hang in there. No problem. My bastard proc came at the end. Not really the prettiest run, to be honest, guys. I mean, I think I could do better. But still, getting it done. Come on now. But it is nice watching old Wolby slice and dice old Sentinel, man. <laughs> it is nice. After all, he did it. Well, a hell of a lot in the comics and in the cartoon. See ya, punk. Yeah, two minutes to spare. How much damage did we do? Oh, well, Thanos got it done. That's that's not surprising, to be honest, guys. Even without support, Thanos is amazing. But we did get 43% of the damage, guys. So I'm telling you, a well-built, he could easily done this, sold it by himself. So, guys, let me know what you think about old Wolverine, and I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. Y'all take care and have a good one.